When I started preparing for IELTS myself, I was looking for a place where I could find all the modules of IELTS at one place for free. So we as Leap Scholar are developing full course for free for all of you on YouTube. Today we are going to look at IELTS listening, map, plan and labeling kind of question. But before I begin the class, I want to let all of you know that there is a full description of all the topics that I have covered till now. The names of the topics are uh, following IELTS listening structure and grading, uh, form completion, short answers, sentence completion and matching kind of question. Okay, so before you watch this video, please feel free to refer to all those videos. Before I begin this class, I want to let all of you know that we are going to look at these eight things today based on IELTS listening map plan and labeling kind of question. First thing, how will the task look like? Second thing, what will we have to do in it? Third thing, yes, obviously how to tackle it. Fourth thing, very important, understanding the language for location and describing where an object is. Fifth, there is a fun activity for all of you. Sixth, uh, language for directions and we are going to solve an activity based on it. And in the end, we are going to look at full practice task, which we all are going to solve together. And at the end, please stay tuned. I'm going to give additional two bonus tips also. So yes, this is the uh, official material of British Council. This is how plan labeling practice is going to look like. We are going to solve it together towards the end of the class. So there is a label the plan of the sports uh, super center below, right? There is a super center sports super center here. There are different things here 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So they are going to uh, play an audio and you will have to find out where are these uh, things in this plan. For example, whether E is administration office, sports, medicine clinic, etc. So we are going to solve it together. But before we do that, we have to look at certain important things. So till now, I told you that how will the task look like? Now the second point is what will we have to do in it? I think I talked about this also. You will be given a, a plan and you will have to listen to the audio and you will have to mark what things are there in the plan as you listen to the audio. Now the third important point is how to tackle it, how we are going to go about it. So okay, there are five things that we have to look at. Obviously you have to look at the instructions and questions before you listen to the audio. It is very important to look at instructions and questions because then you know what you have to do. You know uh, what you are asked to do. Do not assume anything. Just do whatever the question is asking you to do. Now this task uh, often involves a tour or a process. So it is important to figure out where a tour or process will start and finish in the image. So whenever you get any uh, task, for example, I was talking about this task here. It is the reception and there are many things, right? So try to figure it out where it is starting in the audio and where they are going to end. Right. For example, if they start from the reception, so they're going to talk about it. Right. So uh, keep the track of that. Now, uh, obviously, pay attention to things that are close by. Right. Now, for example, if they're talking about uh, reception, so make sure you know that, okay, on, on the left side of it, there is a car park. Right. And then there are different, different uh, things, uh, double doors, aquatic center. So you should be aware about uh, how many things are given and what we are looking at. Now, uh, obviously, uh, yes, this is very important. You have to look for any other clues like a compass icon in the corner. Uh, in this task, this specific task, uh, we do not need a compass icon because audio is different. So sometimes you are given this icon north, uh, east, west and south. It is given. So they follow it in the audio, which which helps you to figure out what direction they are talking about. That is one thing you have to keep the track of, right? And obviously, uh, you might find it helpful to write down answers on a map and make notes on it too, right? For example, uh, again, let me get back to the task. You can write down the answers here as you are uh, listening to the audio, right? Then uh, towards then, you can just uh, write the correct letter. 
so yes first we are going to understand the language for location so uh, the biggest question is what is language for location and why do you have to know that because obviously you'll have to listen to someone talking about a place or position of something let's see uh, here talking about a village town city etc okay uh, when someone's talking in relation to maps or plans of a place you might often hear the following kind of language okay the new library is between the car park and the supermarket so they use the word between so you know if uh, this is the car park this is the supermarket so library is somewhere here okay so you have to keep track of these kind of words I have marked these kind of words with green so you know what kind of language of location is used these are not all the words that they are going to use but yes some of them I have figured it out for all of you Arnold's bakery is opposite the bank on the corner of Aston Street right so opposite the bank this is your first clue this is it is opposite the bank and on the corner of Aston Street so you can find that bakery opposite to the bank and the corner of Aston Street the entrance is next to the large sign at the front of the building okay it's the first building on the right so language for location is very important you have to uh, keep the track of it now uh, language for describing where an object is before I talk about this all those uh, who are watching this video till here uh, congratulations but I am just going to take 10 20 seconds to revise whatever we have looked at till now so we have looked at how will this uh, IELTS listening, matching, labeling, a plan task is going to look like. Okay, and we have looked at what will we have to do in it. And till now we have discussed how to tackle it. I have given you certain tips. And the fourth thing is uh, what is the language for location. Okay, now let's move on to describing where an object is. Okay, for example, uh, you, you, you have to tell someone where a particular object is. So there are four sentences I have written. Look behind the jars on the kitchen top to find the spare set of keys. I think they are behind the one in the middle. So see this behind in the middle. They are the keywords here. They are describing where the object is. Now here the person has left the bike at the side of the house. Okay, so this is giving the location where exactly is the object. Now the vacuum cleaners is in front uh, of the kitchen cupboards. Okay, uh, it is in front of the kitchen cupboards. So this is uh, what you have to know. In front of. So these kind of words mainly uh, prepositions would be used to describe. Now fourth one, you will find the first aid kit under the driver's seat. So first aid kit is where? Under the driver's seat. So this will help you. Now let's do a fun activity together. I want all of you to take a moment and write down in the comment section where the supermarket is with respect to the bookshop. Let's see uh, whether we are able to write down where the supermarket is with respect to the bookshop in the correct language. Because if we are able to do it, that means we have understood the language that we require for solving this task. Now it is very important to also understand the language for directions now uh, naturally the question comes in your mind what kind of language can you expect for following directions it's very uh, easy right uh, how how do you give directions how do you follow directions I think we all do that in our day-to-day -day life but I think uh, this uh, Google Maps it has changed our way of <laughs> giving and following directions we just put in the location and we follow it anyway um, let's look at some language for directions as you come out of the building turn right carry on until you reach the end of the street pretty simple you come out of the building you turn right and carry on until you reach the end of the street so that is the language for directions okay make sure you take the first turning on the left okay you take the first turning on the left okay you you do not have to take the second turning third turning first turning okay first turning means the first turn that is there okay you will see a large sign on the left side of the road turn immediately after that there is a, a large sign on the left side of the road you have to turn left immediately after that okay 
go straight on when you come to the traffic lights and go past the main entrance on your left so idea is very simple here you have to go straight on when you come to the traffic lights and go past the main entrance on your left okay you do not have to go right side of the main entrance not the left side of the main entrance you just go past the main entrance right so we have to uh, figure out the language for directions carefully let's look at this last sentence if you walk around the building in a clockwise direction you will be able to follow the story in the paintings okay so clockwise direction is what the direction in which the hands of the clock they move right like this so yes this is clockwise direction and this is anti clockwise direction so these are the certain terms that you have to be aware about now we have looked at uh, different different things till now let's let's do a quick revision of what all we have learned till now we started here at ielts listening map plan and labeling okay so the, this is our task then we looked at what will we have to do in it okay the third one how we are going to tackle it okay the fourth part is the understanding the language for location and describing where an object is and then we did the this fun activity where i asked you to write down in the comment section okay and the sixth one is language for directions that we discussed it till now now we are going to do a fun activity based on language for directions so this is a map okay i'm going to play an audio okay and you have to find out where we reach okay this is the place where we are okay listen to the audio very carefully and write down in the comment section where did we reach okay as you let down bond street beyond the traffic lights take the first right it might look quicker going straight on but really with the traffic at that time of day you're better off going right trust me all right then so you've taken the first right and you've got the museum on your right now take the first left then go left again when you get to the end of that road I uh, I can't remember what it's called anyway it's easy then just go straight over the roundabout and it's there on the left the first building have you got that okay now do write down in the comment section where did we reach when we uh, started uh, from this cross mark if you did not get the answer you can always uh, listen to the audio again but make sure you develop this understanding of things at once okay because in ielts listening exam you will not be able to hear the audio again they just play it once now yes finally uh, i want all of you to take down a pen and pencil with you if you want you can take out the print out also of the full test that we are going to do and we can do it together with pencil and eraser so this is the full test for all of you okay i'm going to play an audio uh if you want again you can take out the print out okay or if you want you can just uh bring pencil and uh you can just write down the answer as you listen to the audio now turn to section 2 section 2 you will hear an employee of the sports super center giving a guided tour of the facilities in the center first you have some time to look at questions 11 to 17 Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 17. It's so nice to see so many people here on our open day. I hope you'll be impressed by what you see and that you'll all decide to join up. We have tried to cover all aspects of sport and fitness here at the center. Well, let's start, shall we? As we're standing here at reception looking down the long corridor, You'll notice the car park on your left where most of you have parked asks you to reverse into the parking spaces for safety reasons. Also, this morning a couple of keen potential members rode their bikes right in through the door instead of leaving their bikes outside there on your right where the secure bike stands are. Um, you may be wondering why there are so many mothers arriving with little children. As we proceed, you'll see that this first room on your right is a creche where you can leave your little ones for up to 2 hours and they'll be expertly supervised while you work out. After the creche on the same side of the corridor is the male locker room with showers, spa and sauna. 
Opposite that, on your left, there's a staircase leading to the mezzanine floor. You'll not only get a great view out over the playing fields, but you'll also find a coffee shop and snack bar selling a range of wholesome food and drinks, protein shakes, fruit smoothies, that kind of thing. We won't go up the stairs at this point. I'll give you some time later when you can explore at your leisure. Most of you in the group are women, so next, let me point out the women's locker room, which has the same facilities as the men's, you know, things like showers, spa and sauna. It's separated from the men's locker room by an office, which the staff mainly use for administrative purposes. As we move on, on the same side of the corridor as the stairs, you'll see the entrance to the main hall, where they hold yoga classes, aerobics and so on. On the wall here, there is a timetable of all group classes and it is updated regularly. Now, opposite the hall is the gymnasium itself. Go ahead, have a look. Impressive, isn't it? Very spacious, light and airy with all the most modern equipment. As we continue down the corridor, past the main hall, on the same side, there is a conference room. This is mainly used when the centre is hosting a big sports event of some kind. It gives the officials a quiet place to gather and have meetings and so on. You'll have seen the 400 metre athletics track on your way in beside the car park. We have some pretty big athletics conventions here. Well, after a strenuous workout, I bet there's nothing you'd like more than a swim in the aquatic complex. But first, these rooms on our right are all part of the sports medicine clinic where you have access to a doctor, physiotherapist, massage therapist, podiatrist and even a sports psychologist if you need one. Of course, you'll need to make appointments, but if you have any questions, just pop in and see the clinic receptionist and she'll help you out. OK, let's go through the turnstile ahead of us. And here we are, in the aquatic centre. Turn left, past the pool shop, where you can buy or hire goggles, swim caps and such like. And we're outside, poolside. Beautiful, isn't it? especially on a day like today. Go on, dip your toes in the water, and if that's not warm enough for you, then I'll take you to the indoor pool, which is less than half the size, but heated to 32 degrees. Let's go back past the pool shop and through the double doors to the indoor pool. Well, that's all I have time to show you. Let's go back to the reception area and, if you like, we can run through some details about opening hours, membership and so on. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 18 to 20. I guess all of you must have got the answers for question 11 to 17. But let's make it even more interesting. I am going to give you the answers for uh, question 11 till 14 and for 15, 16 and 17, write down your answers in the comment section. Do not worry, I'm going to reply to all of your comments. So do not worry at all. Write down the answers in the comment section and I'm going to address it personally. Okay, so for the 11th one, as I was solving, uh, the answer is H, uh, that is administration office. Okay, and the Twelfth one, uh, sports medicine clinic, which is C. Okay, so you so you just write down C in your answer sheet. And thirteenth is uh, bike racks. Okay, I heard something like bike stand also. So bike racks would be the correct answer. Now fourteenth one uh, is coffee shop and smoothies, which comes out to be cafe. So do write down the answers for 15, 16 and 17 in the comment section. Now as I promised you at the beginning of the video that at the end I am going to give you two bonus tips. Okay. So uh, all those who started watching the video from here only, do not worry. Uh, today we covered IELTS listening, map, plan and labeling kind of question. Okay. And we looked at the following things, these eight things which were absolutely necessary to solve these kind of questions. And I have a good news for all of you that in the same way I have divided all the videos of IELTS listening section. Okay, you do not have to do your research, everything is sorted for you. Okay, so in this video, we looked at how will the task look like, how what will we have to do in it, 
how we going to tackle it we understood the language of location and describing where an object is this was a fun activity we talked about language for directions and activity based on it and yes we did a full practice task now towards the end i promise you that i am going to give you two bonus tips so here we are i want to give you a beautiful website that is uh, futurelearn.com you can always refer to it i always refer to it when i have to uh, find good material it is going to really help you if you want to uh, study in even more detail on your own it is completely free also if you want certifications you can always refer to that uh, website there is a link for your reference for futurelearn.com in the description also so this is one of the bonus tips now the second bonus tip is uh, pretty interesting for the second bonus tip uh, please tell me the approach that you followed how how did you do it there were so many other alphabets also for example uh, g and uh, that is women locker e is main hall uh, d is uh, gymnasium right so how how did you solve it did you just try to find out the answers for 11 12 uh, till 17 or did you just uh, write down whatever was coming your way do let me know about this in the comment section also and if you have any query please write it down also i will address it personally now the second bonus tip is that you do not worry about all this okay you listen to the audio you write down whatever they are saying for example there was nowhere in the question where we were talking about main hall but e was main hall so not a problem you just write down main hall in front of e okay if if you have it in your question then mark it if you do not have it just let it go but yes the best approach to solve these kind of question is just mark whatever is coming in your way in the map and then towards the end write down the correct letter in your answer sheet so everyone my name is Muhammad I am one of the educators at Leib Scholar I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please do like share and subscribe